Today we're going to show you how to change the water fill cup and bearing on the ice maker on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we'll start by removing the ice bucket and setting that aside. Next we're going to loosen two screws that the ice maker mounts to the side wall with. We'll just loosen those and then we'll remove the one on the bottom that is used as a leveling screw. They're all quarter inch hex head screws. Now you should be able to lift up on that ice maker enough to disengage those slotted screws on the side. Then we can lower the ice maker down far enough to reach back and disconnect the wire harness. Just depress the locking tabs on either side of the connector. Pull the harness out. And then we can remove the ice maker so we can set it on a suitable work surface to replace that bearing. And now that we have the ice maker sitting on a suitable work surface, the first Thing that we'll need to do is remove the cover on the ice maker head and it's just a friction fit on there so if you can get a good grip on it you can just wiggle that right off. All right now with the front cover off we have access to two Phillips screws that are in these two holes on the bottom. We'll need to remove those so that we can actually pull the mold out of the ice maker head and we need to do that because this shaft through here fits onto that bearing and it, it needs to be able to be pulled forward. And to do that we need to pull the ice maker head off of it. So I'll begin by taking those two screws out. And it's not necessarily to pull them right out of the head as long as they're completely unthreaded and loose. That's all that matters. Now before we separate that, just take note of how that plastic slide or grill, whichever you want to call that piece, it's hooked into the ice maker head with two tabs on the front and on the rear it actually tucks in from behind first. Now, now that we have that loose, you may want to disconnect that thermal cutout on the bottom here. It's stuck into a little clamp here and it will make it a little bit easier to pull that off of there if you loosen that up first. Now if you pull it over about that far, you should be able to slide that shaft forward enough to disengage it from the rear of the cup. There. Now we can tuck that piece around the side and that should pull right out of there. Now all that remains to do is to disconnect the shutoff arm. You can push that back through that hole. And we can discard the old cup. Now before we install the new cup and bearing, we'll want to cut out that notch on the back. So with a utility knife, just make a little score on both sides at the top. And then you should be able to pop that right out of there. Just fold it back and forth a couple of times. And discard the old piece. Now, to reassemble everything, we need to install that shaft into the bearing on the bottom. And then we're going to push that mold back into the ice maker head. But we need to make sure that the bearing slides through that opening in the mold.
There, well, that's lined up all right. Now the shield on the bottom, or the guide, I want to tuck that in. There's a little tab on the underneath side here that has to fit into a slot in the mold of the ice maker. So we're going to slide that in first, lock it into place, and then we can tuck the back side in at the front of the mold. Now we can tighten those two screws. They need to be tight. So it does have an electrical connection in there that needs to be snug, so make sure both of those screws are, are tight. And remember to tuck that thermal cut off back into its little clip. And the last thing we need to do is to reconnect the shutoff lever. So just push it into the back of that cup. Start it in with the pliers until it bottoms out, and then it should pop right through. Check the operation, make sure it will latch in the upper position. And we're ready to put the cover back on the ice maker. Now the cover does have a couple of notches, top and bottom, that made up with a little notch on the ice maker head. Just snap that into place, and we're ready to reinstall it in the refrigerator. Now the first thing we need to do when reinstalling here is to reconnect the wire harness. Make sure that the locking tabs engage on that connector. And we're going to lift that ice maker up into place, keeping in mind that we need to have that fill tube go into the bearing and fill cup and hook it over those two screws on the sidewall. And then we'll replace the leveling screw on the bottom. And we'll tighten those up. Make sure that the shutoff arm is in the down position. We'll put our ice bucket back in place and our repair is complete.